because at least we could kill then easily here, and we can just let's, let's just walk around this too. mountain over here. Yeah. You like my heal? Um. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna heal you. Yeah. Why not? So yeah, but but as those were saying earlier, that one of the major thing about this game is that is it is more hardcore than what many people are actually used to, and. And what it offers, uh, it offered especially at, at release, but also later, is free world PvP. Yes. So at, re at release, the, there was only one world, and that world just offered free world PvP. So it was pretty much like the Wild West. Um, and you'll have huge gangs of people just teaming up, going around the world, killing innocent people. They then later changed that when they added this world. Uh, this world is an... Trammel is an exact copy of the previous world, but this uh, doesn't have uh, PvP combat activated or enabled. But in the old in the old world, uh, it is still enabled, so you can still go there if you. And we probably should at some point, I suppose, just to have a look and see if we are going to get killed. How we do we do that in the end of the video? How do we go to the old world then? It's called Felucia. Ah, okay. So, but that that's one of the end game activities as you want to call that because you can't really talk about an end game per se in this as you don't have levels or anything like that you can actually do pvp and stuff right from the get-go um and besides from pvp there isn't a lot to it i mean there is uh, there is some kind of dungeons you can go to and where you can f uh, try and either solo or kill some really hard mobs with a group of friends and they'll of course drop some better items for you uh, but there's no no raids or anything like that, so it is very much a, a PvP game. Yeah, these I, these maps are all grey. I think that has a lot to do with it. Like the ninja was red, which is really hard. Yellow is means normal. It's kind of like World of Warcraft probably took that a bit from this game. I think I've noticed that grey uh, grey maps are really easy to kill. But let's just yeah. follow this path and see where it takes us. Yeah, sure. Music is epic in this game. Yeah, but I just... <laughs> but there's just there's so many random uh, mobs in this in this game that are just walking around, not really doing anything. Or oh, a skeleton. So you double-click an uh, mob, and I come. He actually comes to you automatically because you are, you stated that you wanted to combat them or something. It's really funny. Oh yeah, they're, they're rather easy. But yeah, I, 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 even if I would have known about this game at the time, I don't think I even would have played it because I was a different kind of gamer back then. I liked like I played like Unreal Tournament and 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 that kind of stuff. So I don't think I would have played this. But I'm very much uh, I've quite enjoyed playing this, even though it's really hard to get into. The learning curve is quite steep and, and the, all the information that gets thrown out at you at start is it's really overwhelming, but... Ooh. What the fuck? I was Ooh, trying to get in here. Ooh, secret <laughs> cave. Yeah, exactly. Well, there isn't actually anything to be had from this cave, it seems, but... This, this is, is a very, very odd way to do it. I've never seen this before. What the hell? Why is it raining inside the cave? <laughs> yeah, they just removed the <laughs> the textures. Everything else except for the, for the yeah, exactly. Yeah, funny. So you just have the black thing, and you have the rain because it's raining out here. Are oh, we not going on top of the hill and see what's up there? No, okay. I'm tr I'm trying. Can you? There's not a path up there from there where we were, is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. At least so I was going to. We have to like uh, continue around. No, wait. Hmm, into the middle of this rocky area, you can only you can only go there through a tunnel, it seems, but I have no idea where that tunnel starts. But yeah, let's just go have a look. But yeah, what have, what have your impressions been about the game? I mean, if you try to put your mind in a sort of set that you've never played an MMO before, what do you think then? It's, it's a really hard thing to do. I actually, don't, I actually don't think it's too bad, really. Oh uh, my god, this is wow, cool. Wow, look at this place. Yeah, these are... Yeah. These are... Holy... Is that fire traps? Oh, yes. Or something? But yeah, I actually I actually kind of liked it, to be honest. I mean, the UI is pretty pretty bad from what you're used to, and there's a lot of 
there's kind of a lack of feedback when you're doing something wrong. I mean, I have a... My special ability or special skill is called Bushido. Yeah. Because I'm a ninja. Um, uh, uh, no, so you're not. Cool. You're not a ninja. You're that... a samurai. Oh, I'm a samurai. That's that's true. <laughs> oh, well, you could also be a ninja, but we ended up, I ended up taking a samurai. Oh, look, a harpy. No MMO without a harpy, guys. No, no, no. But yeah, the thing was that... Um, I could only. I had a, a lot of skills that I had to use this push. A lot of abilities that I had to use my Bushido skills for. Um, but in the beginning, I didn't have enough Bushido skills to to use a lot of my abilities. But the game never told me. I could just keep clicking the button and nothing would happen. It's that kind of feedback that I've kind of been missing. But actually, I find it interesting. And and the stuff that you have this world PvP that's kind of just free for all and Wild West. I. I somewhat dig that idea. And there's of course all that lots of crafting and gathering and stuff around, so... I'm I mean, you can, you can sink a lot of time into this for sure. Okay, did this habit call for help or something? Because it seems like... <laughs> You're getting raped over there. I'm I am dead. getting so raped. Oh, <laughs> did we almost kill it? Yeah, he's, he's like... Very low. All right. So even even in this, uh, I should have run away world, as well. Which I thought was easy. There's apparently some very dangerous mob. I think because yeah, we we, we haven't leveled we there. haven't leveled our uh, our resistances and stuff that much. No, no, no. Indeed, we haven't. It's very important. Oh, there's a spirit right here. There we go. Okay, my guy is that bad at killing stuff. Why doesn't he... Come on, engage, please! Oh, damn it. You gonna die? Did you kill the white harpy? <laughs> yeah, I died. Uh, was there a Reza right on front? Yeah, outside the tunnel. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's a good deal. So, I suppose... Should we continue in here? Should we try and, and go to a PvP world and have a look at what, that, what that's like? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Go to a PvP world. This map is so close to that. Okay, I kind of have a we should problem kill that my corpse is... We should try to kill this harpy, I think. The map say on low HP or something, I think. I died again. Yeah, they do. I, I think they regenerate, but I think they regenerate very slowly. Yeah. Okay, I don't even. I think I need some more HP before I go in there because that bird just. Yeah, he almost me killed like me again. I He's made it. Yeah. I'm gonna go out. Oh, just I died from the like fire. <laughs> the traps. That will be. That's was. That's kind of a good uh, practice for Guild Wars. Oh yes. Um. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to like trying to move on to the next game just to see what what minor improvements there have been between this and what's next on the list. Is that like a EverQuest? EverQuest, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So EverQuest was released two years later. So I, I'm really looking forward to seeing these differences. I may, uh, may I may not be. The one huge difference uh, being that it's actually 3D. Hmm. True. <laughs> can I what? Uh, can you throw me a heal? Uh, yeah, I think so. If my mana's not low, too low. Alright, cool. I'm trying to go in you there. You don't have any bandages? Well, it, they're on my corpse. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so now, that, should we kill that hobby? Because it seems to be kind of alone in here. Oh, yeah, that red one is easy to kill, I think. We just need to get it out of that, uh... Don't go into the fire. I think I'll rather dr blur it out here. Why does that there we go. thing not get? There we go. Okay, cool. What did it drop? That actually dropped 800 gold. Okay, it's Chaos Shield. Plate Mill... Plate Mill Arms. Hmm. 
So also one thing to notice is that there's a ton of resistance in this game. That's that seems to be most of the stats and items, at least in the in the earlier zones, are just resistance. But you can also get stuff like extra HP or or more. I, I think I have a bracelet that has more sword skill on it. Yeah. This is terrible. I mean, imagine if you died down here and you had to go down and, and oh, get your items. That would be horrible. I'm getting killed horribly in this. Thing. Okay, these actually ain't too bad when we only have one of them at a that time. That white one is just. There's uh, a stone harpy up here. Should we try and kill that? Yeah. He was kind of hard just to kill. more HP than. Uh, But if it do just doesn't call for help this time, that'll be really great. Ah, oh, it doesn't have any HP. Wow, it actually has a lot of HP. Yeah, it does, and it hits hard as well. Come on, we almost got it. Almost. Where the hell did we get? Come on. Come on, why can I not heal myself? There it goes. What did it drop? A uh, diamond, gold, a ring. Disordance, hit chance increase, spell damage increase, lower reagent cost. I suppose you want that ring, Ozzy. Lower reagent cost, that seems to be something for you. Yeah, if it's... If it's Categorized as a reagent, then yeah. Yeah, I have. Uh, that is indeed hard to tell. Uh oh, uh, I could probably need a hand up here in a second. Ah, okay, I think I got it. The combat feels a bit awkward, though, I, mu I must say. Uh, when you run around like this, because you don't have a lot of control over your character, so suddenly if your character is, is a bit off, you have to like run away and then turn around and stuff like that. I'm not sure how much I, I like the feel of that, but... No. It's very, very chaotic. It works weird. Yeah, it does, a bit. I mean, it's sufficient enough, it's no doubt about it. Yeah. Guess the job done. <laughs> but should we just leave this K and, and try uh, try to go for that uh, PP world and then finish off there? Yeah. Because I think we have soon actually presented what what we have found in this. Yeah. It's not much more to for us to show off because we don't really have end game characters, if you will. So. Exactly, we have been playing this on the 14 day trial. Yeah. And. and it's not our intent so to, we'll say to that level it... until the end or whatever. It's, it's just our intent to show up the game and tell us the general information and compare them to other other MMOs. So. Oh, that... Yes, exactly. So that'll be something we'll probably be doing when we get a bit uh, further in the series is actually to having a look at how this compares to some of the, the older games we have been playing. Okay, let's find a way out of here without getting toast. Right then. The dude called the Miner Law. Well, that wasn't too bad. No. So now we have to walk so it's all nice to the see way back. That. Yeah, true, that shouldn't take too long. Just have to walk diagonal. Yeah. Like the bishop. <laughs> I don't even know what this is actually. Is this player houses as well? I suppose it is. I don't know. Because that is that is actually one of the things, I don't think we have mentioned that yet. Mm -hmm. uh, that there is player housing in uh, in Ultima Online. So the idea is that players can obtain pieces of land and then build houses there like, like it's The Sims or something. And you can like decorate it with all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I've, uh, the only game need, that I've seen that in Lord of the Rings, and it sounds very similar to that, really. 
In Lord of the Rings, now I haven't played that. Uh, is that the same deal where you like have a physical place in the world? Where well, it's not. It's not in the world. It's just like this instance area where you have uh, streets of houses where you can buy a house. There are m multiple instances of the same instance, pretty much like multiple versions, and you can just buy a house. And uh, stuff okay. that you stuff that drops from bosses, like trophies and heads and all that stuff, you can show off in your house, and you can. Uh, show it off to everyone or just friends and you have a chest in your house that you can use with your friends but it's it's really quite cool that adds this whole new level of rpg to it and just fun like to showcase your what you've done uh, but then there's also this this kinship that's the lord of the rings version of a guild where you have a house for your guild and show off stuff there and like have meetings and stuff yeah like. okay good because it sounds a bit like age of conan where you have your own castle that you're building very slowly yeah but well, anyway, should we go to uh, uh, Felucia? Mm -hmm. Which place should we go to? Britain? Yeah. Or... Yeah, let's go there. Okay, so we can pretty much immediately see that this place is a lot more dead. If you look at, if you try and look at the world map, it's the the exact same, except well, exact same, but it's just dead. <laughs> And it seems like the NPCs here are unfriendly. Still lots of player houses though. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well, it's at least at least somewhat friendly right now, so. I had partly expected us to be torn apart the moment we stepped in here, but uh, <laughs> then again, the, it is it is a somewhat big world. I mean, what what I kind of miss is just that the world seems a bit more different from zone to zone. Well, but then we again, they, really they were limited by the so. graphics, no doubt. Yeah. No, that's true. We have been trying to jump a bit around, but they 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 are limited in, in indeed at what they can do and show. So. Yeah. I guess peaceful music playing. It's not very hostile here. No, not at all. But I suppose that we are. What we is just that? Just take a PvP battle, just the two of us, I suppose. Yes. Arcane Circle. That... Let's just move out of the city so we don't attack the guards. We are now under protection of the town guards, so I don't think we'll get very popular by killing each other in here. I think we should round this up soon as well. We could end with a nice duel or something like that. Yes, that seems like a perfect idea. And that will also be the end of our adventure here in Ultima Online. Yeah. Fight to the death. <laughs> we should find a, a suitable place to do this. You'll probably win because you're I don't think we've in. mentioned who made this game. Um, that is indeed a fair point. Mythic Entertainment. So, what is it? I think. Or is that the publisher? Hang on a second, I'll just make sure that we. Uh, I think let Mythi get this Mythic right. Entertainment made it and Origin Games. It was, actually, it was actually developed by Origin Systems. Origin Systems. Developed. Yeah, they, okay. were, they were part of Electronic Arts and they were shut down at some point. I actually don't remember exactly when. Um, well, they were shut down and their trademark that still was owed by EA has now been used for their origin store instead. Yes, best product ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, so... What do you... The, st the studio was disbanded in 2004, yeah. After having having worked on some other Ultimate game, but... Then the, the studio got moved yeah. and people left, and they just disbanded. So, what what, uh, what is Should myth we take it here? what is Mythic's involvement then? Is that just uh, the publisher or what? That's a good question. This may flag you as a criminal. Yeah, bring it on. Cheese, right, my cheese is attacking you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why does this? Thing? Holy jeebus! You actually hit very hard. And I know who does the damage between us two. <laughs> yeah, okay. I kinda needed some more of my Bushido skills because my Bushido skills are kinda defensive, but 
I can't really use a defensive right now, so. Oh, that was fun. Can I well, loot? Well, thanks a lot, and I can't even find oh, that. I can't even you shoot a, a healer from here. Thousand gold? I can loot your corpse now. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what can you get from it? A tethered plane drawing. Just, just... A book. All kind of roots. I could take a thousand gold. Bandages. Everything, I think. Tinker tools. Oh god, not lettuce. my not my items or weapons though, right? Um Cloak, yes, I'm gonna steal your cloak. <laughs> <laughs> you have been jealous of that all along. Yes. Oh damn you, Ursi. My evil plan, there we and go. And I can't even find a spirit healer so I can get back to stop you. Well, this will be the end of it then. Yes, I have a cloak. I'm done, I've lost all my items and all my gold to Osiris. <laughs> awesome. Well Oh well Paul, thanks for the duel. Yeah, it was fun. As long as it lasts. Paladins are overpowered. <laughs> That's why we're holy yeah, they warriors, are. so... In every game. <laughs> Alright, but I think that with that we'll say uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, this was Ultima Online. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the game is still active, so if you ever want to try it out, there's a 14-day trial, so just go try it out. It is quite fun and refreshing if you are not too short uh, headed or whatever it's called too uh, <laughs> fast with your judgments and too f little patience it but takes some time getting into it for sure yeah but uh, I th I'd say it's it's well worth trying to go back you have the th uh, free 14 day trial so mm -hmm. try and go back and, and give it a shot really yeah indeed well thanks so, for watching uh, next week we'll be looking yes next week we'll be looking at as I said um the quest Everquest? of Everness. Yes, EverQuest. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the videos, please give it a thumb up. And uh, subscribe to our channel. Yeah, bye-bye.